Now that you have a strong understanding of the controller and its functions, let's make a cut in manual mode. Reset the emergency stop by pulling out the red button. There will be a short delay to allow the software to load. Press the machine start button to start the hydraulics. Next, the head must pass 90 degrees. Pressing the head swing right or head swing left keys will swing the saw head in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction. You can use the fast approach button to move the head. However, the passing of 90 degrees must be done in slow mode. If the saw head is not at 90 degrees, you will see the following screen stating swing the head through 90 degrees. Press the head retract key until the head is fully retracted. Once the head is fully retracted and the head has passed 90 degrees, the display screen will change to manual mode. To program your required angle, press angle go to on the touchscreen display. To enter your desired angle, use the numerical keypad on the touchscreen. Press the enter button to confirm the angle selection. To select whether the angle is left or right, touch L or R on the display. Now that your desired angle has been selected, press cycle start. The saw head will now move to its programmed angle. When making mitered cuts, the part length must be set longer than the desired length by an amount called the kerf value. You can edit the kerf value by hitting the next button. Please refer to the manual for kerf values. Move the material to the desired length. To clamp the material, simultaneously press the enable and front vise close buttons. Select flood or mist, then coolant on or auto by pressing the corresponding keys. Position the movable guide arm close to the workpiece. Set feed force and feed rate using the dials on the hydraulic feed control on the top of the control panel. Click the blade start key and adjust the blade speed using the blade speed plus or minus keys. Press the blade start key and then cycle start to initiate the cut. The blade will start and the head will advance with the set feed rate. After completion of the cut, the blade will turn off and the head will retract back to a fully retracted position. And that's all you need to do to make a cut in manual mode.